Our first feature today is a wonderful teacher. I was lucky enough to have her as an instructor who even traveled to another country with me at SFU. It's Celeste Snover. She has a PhD. She is a dancer. She's a writer, a poet, an associate prof at the uh, sorry, the Faculty of Education at Simon Fraser. She is the author of two books, Embodied Prayer and Landscapes and Aesthetic Education. She's performed a full-length show entitled Woman Giving Birth to a Red Pepper, which she hopes to remount in the near future. She's also the mother of three amazing adult sons. She's got two websites because one's never enough. <laughs> CelesteSnover.com and BodySongs.com. Welcome, please, Celeste Snover. Treacherous and amazing. And here's a couple of poems from there. Um, actually, I might not even need my glasses. It's called Adorned from the Inside Out. I slip under beige sheets, hoping sleep will greet me after my return from Hawaii. But instead, I am welcomed by bright red images of heliconias lying inside my body as if they were drooping from the trees. Lobster claws, wild plantains, false birds of paradise. They have many names. To me, they are star jewels dripping from tropical plants, illuminating the earth, intoxicating the senses with color, design, and shape, which can't help sing inside my flesh. If I could only wear organic necklaces that droop with the kind of boldness that these plants offer in a gentle rain, I would be accessorized in a riot of color, but the presence of these red-green jewels adorn me from the inside out. I, um, I grew up on an island town outside New England, um, outside Boston, and I, um, I'm a lover of the wind, and when there is wind, I feel at home. And uh, so this is called Koala Wind on the Big Island. She moves fiercely, one feels her in the bone, the skin knows her arrival, the ears hear her symphony, greens of every variety are swaying in her announcement. Kohala wind on the northwest coast of the big island of Hawaii, a constant companion who reminds me of where humans derive, of earth and humus. Whatever details are swirling in my small mind and lilting body, they are small compared to her power. It is her character to disrupt, turn over, create dances with the landscape. I am comforted and disturbed in her wake, not knowing how I will live without her. It is as if she has become a lover, leaving me once again with longing 